Hello everyone, today I'll talk about a language that humans cannot understand or talk, tap tapping. This is my submission for the Curse Colon Circus, an idea of this guy, great guy in the matter. A bit of context, this colon of mine is spoken by aliens with only one extendable body part, like our arms. These aliens don't have voice, as we do, uh, so they have to use vibrations and body others to communicate, one by later. We know about humans because of radio transmissions they received in the 90s and 2000s. This radio signal passed through a wormhole, after which they were able to contact the government of Djibouti, so the secret agents arrived to their planet. And it is only humans that invented a script using vibrations and positions of the extendable body part. Uh, vibrationology. The vibrations of this language have different lengths. Some are only short, some only long. Some with three levels of distinction. Following are the vibrations of their language visualized for humans. But remember, these aliens here them from the soil, but you hear vibrations from air way different. These aliens mostly eat moss and bacteria living on rocks, so when they want to say they are hungry, they need to use rocks. For example, to say the children dinner is ready, mom throw rocks to their children, like true Christians. I remember I mentioned others, well emotions are expressed by others, not vibrationally. They feel happy, they emit an odor. They are sad, emit a different odor. Now, if you think this phenology is not a curse, because we're human trying to understand language in the dark, we won't be capable to understand left tap or right tap in the dark, as the aliens do. Try it. Think about it. Aha! They were both left. Moreover, we cannot express their emotions. So, to the aliens, we seem like robots, emotionless, like me when they ask me about my future. Our order to them is just human, which probably is the emotion of feeling sadistically useless. Now the grammar. I mean, I'm not really a grammar fan, if such a even exists. I think even if a Latin super important person called Grammaris invented grammar and it was his big passion, so he would hate his creation and his name, which sounds more like a unit measurement, but whatever. The sentence structure is OVS. This language has only one pronoun for all persons, because the aliens don't have a defined identity, but identify within their group. Being out of group is called being without rocks. Nouns differ from moving and not moving by prefixes. All nouns are collective. This language has only the number one. For the numbers, the number one is repeated as many times as the number is. But the aliens also have a limited memory, so generally they don't talk about numbers over 42. Numbers over that are considered too difficult. To have cultural transmission and don't forget every bit of knowledge they possess, they have collective memory made by the continuum of information transmission. So they really vibrate a lot. Verbs are conjugated in seven ways. Why? Because you know, three is a magic number. Happening is the base form. The others are formed with prefixes in the memory, potential, past potential, which is out of memory, foreboding, for which is going to happen, postboding, for which is quite sure it happened before, and long ago, which is knowledge that comes from previous generations and is always potential. But hey, why there are always free choices about the prefixes as for the conjugations? Well, I said it, but also because these elements distinguish from thumb, B and teeny vibrations. The first ones are with the palm and cap, the second ones are with the back and shuffles. Words with more funky vibrations take different prefixes from words with more teeny vibrations and from neutral words. Funny curiosity, did you know that teeny words make the aliens domestic animals scream? But the aliens can't hear this only vibration, so they're fine. Where adjectives go, you ask? Before or after the noun? No, no, not so easy. They go between nouns. Not verbs, say. Between verbs, all the things are faster. 
This language has more than 20 different levels and directionality. By that, I mean it is mandatory to say the exact position of something in space, like an expanded demonstrative system. The top vibration lengths indicate distance, the arm position indicates direction. Central tap is forward, the long left tap is left for a bit, those are unidirectional. My direction can be forward forward, for a bit, forward left, left right and so on. These aliens can distinguish three colors, blue, black and white. Green is just blue, what is red, who knows, remember it for the text. Bye.